In this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate visuals like what you're seeing on screen now. This is a very cool and popular effect. You see it a lot on music channels on YouTube, but there's a lot of other use cases for this effect. So that's what we're creating today using After Effects CC, so let's jump in. With After Effects open, I have a composition created. This one is 1080, but you can make it 4K if you'd like. And then I have a song imported from Epidemic Sound. We pretty much use them for all our audio and sound effects that you'll see on this channel. I have a link in the description for a free trial if you want to try Epidemic Sound out. All right, the first thing we'll do is drag our music into our composition. And then we'll create a solid layer, which will be where our effect is. And to keep things organized, we'll call it visualization. We'll make sure it's the size of our comp. If it's not, you can click make comp size. And it doesn't really matter for the color that will be changed when we start creating the effect. Then we'll go to our effects and presets and type in audio. Now there's two ways to do this. You have your audio spectrum and then audio waveform. Audio waveform is more of like your classic like heartbeat waveform. And the audio spectrum effect is better suited for music. So we'll try that one. And then in our effect controls window under the audio spectrum effect we just added, let's change the audio layer to our music. And then as simple as that, we have our audio spectrum following our music. So you get the idea of what this effect can do. However, there is a lot of settings here that you can change to make this look a lot better than the default settings. So let's first mess around with the colors. Maybe we'll make this one a little more red. And this one will go to blue. And then we'll cycle through the hue interpolation to change up the colors just a bit. And then you can change from digital to analog, analog dots. And then if you want to show more of like the mirror effect, you can keep it at a side A and B, or you can change it to just the top or just the bottom. So we'll keep ours to digital for now. And then we'll start playing with how many lines there are, how tall they are, where the frequencies show up, and so on. Let's go up to start and end frequency. These represent the frequencies in your music or your audio file. So depending on the frequencies in your audio file, for example, if you have an electronic track, there's gonna be a lot of bass in it, which means you'd wanna make sure you have the lower uh, frequencies showing. Or if your audio file has a lot of higher pitch frequencies, then you wanna make sure that the end frequencies on the right side here are showing up to cover those as well. So let's increase the end frequency to about 50,000. And then under the maximum height, let's raise this much higher. Let's increase the frequency bands a bit. We'll increase the thickness. And since the point of this effect is for the visualization to follow along with your audio file, in this case, we have a music track, it's really important that our visuals are in sync with our audio file. So we don't wanna adjust anything under the audio duration or audio offset. Now let's have a look at what we've created so far. And you can see here that our maximum height of 7,000 is way too high here. So let's go ahead and adjust some of the settings to control some of those frequencies. So we'll leave the color and style like that and then we'll move on. So another thing you can do is animate a path. So on our solid layer, which is now named visualization, we can go up here to our mask and we'll use the ellipse tool or we can draw our own with the pen tool. We'll hold shift to make a perfect circle. And then under path, we will select our mask one. We'll go back to our main selection tool and you can see it's cropping a bit. So you can just fix that by going to masks, mask one, and then going into mask expansion and adjusting it there. And then back in effect controls, you can go to the side options and we can go to side B or A and each one will keep the inside or just the outside. I 
I think this is looking pretty cool. However, to take this a step further and to make things a lot more interesting than this, now that we have this visualization layer set up, we can then duplicate it, change the sizes, the colors, and use this first layer as our starting template. Let's go up to edit and then duplicate. Then we'll press S on our keyboard to open up scale and we'll scale this down to let's say 50%. We'll change it to side A. And then on our top layer, to give it a different look, we'll go into the settings and make some adjustments. So this is looking kind of cool. So by using these techniques with all these different settings and layer combinations, you can get some really unique creative effects fairly quickly. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos from us. We release a new video every single week. We have over 60 other filmmaking tutorials on our channel for you to learn from. And thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time.